wonderful world of Disney. Part two of The Young Loner. On our last program, we introduced Bumper, a homeless boy making his way around the country with an itinerant farm worker, Bert Shannon. Hey, you dog! Come back here! Come back with our meat! Oh, no, no, no. No need getting mad at the poor dog. <laughs> He's just looking out for himself. It don't matter who you are or what you are. If you don't take care of yourself, <laughs> ain't nobody gonna take care of it for you. Partnership ended suddenly when Bert attempted to avoid the law and failed to avoid the ditch. All right, just lie down and take it easy. All right, lie still. I'm going to have to take you in, of course. All right, step right there. Bumper didn't stop, for he had a dread of winding up in some orphan's home. And he wound up some time later in the remote wagon home of a sheep herder, Old Carlos. Here he found a new friend and a way of life he had never known. It was wonderful and fascinating. How do you know he didn't run away from home? Maybe his parents are looking for him. Boys don't run away unless they got a reason. Well, that's not really our problem, Carlos. He needs a place to stay, and I need someone to help. Look, how would you like a job for a few days? Stay here and look after the dog and the, and the lamb while Carlos is out with the sheep. How much do you pay? 25 cents a day, plus your keep. Sure is lousy pay. But it's bricklier. Yeah, I might take it on for a few days.
Life, little fella. You have a lot of trouble later time you've been here. He's alive. He's gonna be okay. Is that the way you look after sheep? in creek while you run off and chase raccoon? I'm sorry, Carlos, but I was just gone a minute. You should not have been gone at all. And what good is being sorry? Okay, then I ain't sorry. And I don't need this dumb job anyway. Hey, boy, what is it? Is it all you can do you get mad? You go away? Huh? You cannot say I was wrong. I try to do better next time. Well... Always the chip on the shoulder, huh? I'm just not one to stick around when I'm not wanted. Wait. One night, I am mad at Juno. He chasing the sheep around and around the wagon, acting crazy. <laughs> you don't tell me. I don't figure out till later. It was you. You whistle at him. He think he got orders. Hey, I bored you out, eh? And you don't get mad at me, do you? You don't snarl and put the tail between the legs and run away? Ah, no. He does do his job as best he can. That's all. And on sheep branch, that's the way it got to be. Wrong. Nothing wrong at all, Carlos. And you just wanted to say goodbye to the both of you. My mother telephoned from Denver. She wants me to come home. You know, it's gonna be kind of lonely around here. With you gone. Why, thank you, Bumper. But Aunt Frieda has invited me back for Christmas vacation. Maybe I'll see you then. Christmas. Uh, I'll be gone by then. I'm just staying around for another week or so. Till Jupe gets better. Look, Bumper. You play your cards right. And there's no reason why you can't stay on here indefinitely. Carlos. He'll have both his dogs working pretty soon. He won't need me. It wasn't old Carlos I was thinking about. Last he was born yesterday. Oh. When do you want to move to higher pasture? Anytime. Do you want to start this Saturday? All right. If I can leave the lambs unused behind, Papa can bring them after more slow. That's a lot of responsibility, Carlos. Do you think he's ready for it? Oh, sure. He's a good boy. He learned his lessons. He would be good with the cheap. 
All right, we move out early Saturday morning. Angie, come on. Goodbye, Bumper. You remember what I told you. And Carlos, I'll see you next Christmas. Carlos, you better go into town on Friday, get your checkup. I'll come up and watch the sheep. There's no need for you to do that. Bumper can look after them. Oh, no, wait a minute. Trusting him with a few lambs and ewes, that's one thing. But not the whole flock. Well, Carlos must know. He's all right. He knows how to handle the dogs. It'll be very good. How many times will he been to handle the sheep when Ben is not nearly as big as Bumper? Carlos, for heaven's sake, Ben was different. He was born here. He grew up with sheep. You can't compare the two. He's a good boy. I trust him. You trust him. That's fine. You don't have everything you own tied up in those sheep, but I do. Okay. I didn't want to stay with the lousy old sheep. It wasn't Chacho. my idea. What's the matter with you, eh? I tried to tell her that you're a good boy. What you try to do? You try to make out I'm a big liar. He was the one that came after me, that time when I left. How did she do it? You want me around here. Did she say she didn't want you around? She just think that maybe you should learn more before you take on a big responsibility, that's all. From the way you act, I think that she is right. Just because I never grew up in a sheep ranch. That don't mean I can't learn nothing. I can't be trusted. You get the feelings hurt, huh? You don't think for one minute maybe she get the feelings hurt too? She tried very hard to be nice to you. You have to be nasty to her. his life for those sheep. If he's willing to trust you, that ought to be good enough for me. Well, he kind of changed his mind about that, too. He said you were right. That makes it unanimous. I guess we, we all changed our minds last night. Uh, well, um, well I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. On Friday, Old Carlos will go into town and get his annual checkup. You'll stay with the sheep. Uh, I don't know. Carlos, he probably won't let me now. Look, I'm the boss here, Bumper. I'll make the decisions. Yes, sir. Carlos gets a clean bill of health, and he can start out early Saturday morning with the main flock. Move as fast as he can, because there won't be too much water on the way. He said it'll take him three or four days, even so. You'll follow more slowly. Driving the ewes and the lambs. And I'll try to keep up with you. Hauling the big old wagon with a couple of barrels of water. Yes, sir. You know, Angie... Angie had a kind of a funny thought last night before she left. Yeah? Uh, she wondered... 
Well, as long as you're going up to the high pasture, maybe you'd just like to stay on with old Carlos. Through the summer? Just stay there? Well, Carlos is getting kind of old to be off like that, all by himself. For such a long period of time. Gee. Uh... Well, do you think you'd be interested? Yeah. I might give it a try. Well, then... We'd better see about getting you ready. Come on. Mrs. Williams? Can I say something? Go ahead. About Friday. And you leaving me with the sheep? No matter what happens, I'm not going to let you down. I won't let one sheep out of my sight. Not for one minute. I promise. I know that. Otherwise, I wouldn't let you do it. Come on. We're going to have to get you down, too, for a physical checkup. Get your teeth looked at. Well, I don't need that. I mean, nothing's wrong with me. You're going to be a long ways from a doctor or a dentist this summer. <laughs> ben outgrew this shirt when he was 11. Of course, I always knew he was broad across the shoulders. Such a full chest. You know, the doctor once told me he was the most perfectly built boy he'd ever seen in all his years of practice. Would you just stand natural? Sure will have to be taken in quite a bit. Bumper! Come here a minute. This was Ben's room. Um, another thing Andrew and I talked about last night. Maybe after the summer, if, uh, if things work out right, you could... you want to splurge while you're in town. Thanks. Ain't you coming in with me? No, I've got to get over and apply for the grazing permit. Just tell the doctor who you are. He'll be expecting you. Oh. Go on, shh. The dentist is two doors down. If I'm not back by the time you're through, just wait around here anywhere. Are you the 
doctor? <laughs> I think the doctor is busy right now. You better just take a seat. All it needs now is time. Have to build those muscles back up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. banged up when we hit the ditch. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let's, let's, let's get out of here. I'm supposed to... Come on, come on, come on, come on. I guess, I guess they figured that that's more trouble uh, than I was worth, so they... They told me that if I get out the county and stay out, why, they're willing to let me go. I'm never so glad to see anybody uh, all my life. I mean that, boy. I can't tell you how many times I kept wishing that you was back with me again. Just one thing, Bert. Just didn't see how I was gonna make it alone, that's all. Oh. Uh, you see, Bird. Yeah. I got a job on a sheep ranch. And, uh, well, I was kind of figuring on staying on there, as long as they want me. You mean, after all we've been through together, you're going to run out on me now, at a time like this? I got me a job. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. And I, I guess you figure you'd never get no job to come with me, huh? Ain't that. Well, we still got time. Don't you see? It's just the peak of the strawberry picking season now. And we... You, you remember last year? You, you remember, remember how good we done last year with the, just the two of us? Huh? You see? Mrs. Williams, she owns a sheep ranch. Old Carlos, he's a sheep herder. Well, they've been all good to me. Oh, yeah. Talk about how good they've been to you, huh? I, I, I guess you forget who it was stuck by you that time when you had the fever, huh? I haven't forgot that. Well, I did not see no woman. I didn't see no sheep herder around then. Why, for three days and three nights, I, I stuck right by you. And then for a couple of weeks after that, you, you, you couldn't do a lick of work. Couldn't do a lick of work I practically had to, to hand feed you. I know. Oh, you forgot all about that now, didn't you? Yeah, sure, sure. It's a little bit different now when it's when it's me that needs some help. Sure, it's not the same. It don't matter now. When I'm the one that's alone and I don't think I could make it by myself, you're just gonna kiss that off. Everything I've ever done for you. Bert? <laughs> Need me? Well, I'll come along with you. Don't you see? It it it, it ain't just me. It, it it's the two of us, don't you see? We, we belong together, you know that. Well, I better leave word for Mrs. Williams. Well now, you're you're coming, ain't you? If you're not there, she'll figure it out. You're gone, that's all. <laughs> In another week, I'm going to feel a whole lot more scoop and, and, and you're going to thank me for getting you out of that mess. Yes, sir. And, and you're going to thank me for getting you out of a lot of those crazy ideas out of your head. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You go look for him? I did not. 
All I could find out, he picked up with some harvest trap. I guess somebody he'd met before. And they headed off down the highway together. If he's that kind, Carlos, we're lucky to be rid of him before we get any more involved. He is a good boy. Oh, fine boy, he turned out to be. Just goes traipsing off down the highway, first chance he gets. No thank you, no farewells. At least he was a little better dressed than when he came here. It don't make sense. It's like if I come out in the morning and I find you peace run away. Even if I see it, I don't believe it. That chapter is finished and done with. I'll be out first thing in the morning. Stay with the sheep while you go in and get your checkup. Just as I suggested in the first place. <laughs> Didn't get out of the county fast enough to suit him. Ain't our fault. Uh, no. Worst things could happen. It's just a regular jail. Got bars on the windows and like that all. All jails got bars on the windows. Huh? Oh, not the worst ones. No, three. The worst kind ain't got no bars on the windows. Ain't got no lock on the door. And sometimes, if he ain't careful, a man can get himself locked into a job and never get free. Next thing you know, he don't even want to try. You mean like, uh, one of those worth jobs would be like, uh, on a sheep ranch? Hmm? Oh, um, I suppose you could say, uh, say that, yeah. <laughs> to see. You're the one who told me. No need to hate a critter just when he's looking out for himself. Well, did it seems to me there is a very fine point of difference between not hating a critter and, and giving him your grub, especially when we so low on it. It's part of my share. <sighs> come on. Come on. Here's more. Come on, pup. Come on. 
on, Pooch. Here. Uh, there. Here you go. Uh, you ain't been eating too regular, have you, pup? You had to study and learn how to be a sheepdog, and you always got a home. You know, uh, this ain't gonna work out, Bumper. You realize that, don't you? What's wrong now? Oh, us too. Hitchhiking around the country together. It ain't like when I had my truck, you know. Huh. We just ain't, we ain't never gonna get no place. Sometimes I got a half a notion to hop a freight. Well, you want me to start packing now or wait till morning? That is something else that ain't working out. You know, you just ain't gonna be satisfied till you go back to that stupid sheep ranch and get that all out of your system. Tell you, if I'm gonna be riding the rods, I don't want no kid to be looking out for. You aren't just saying that, are you, Bert? I'm just saying. You know me, boy. <laughs> I am looking out for number one. I don't... don't think I could get through another day like this. You have any money? Um, well, uh, no, uh, tell you the truth, I... Uh, I, I got some, uh, a lot of expense. I, uh... Uh, medical expenses, you know, doctor's bills and all like that. You'd, you'd just be surprised how quick that goes. This is all I've earned so far, but might help out a little. Oh, uh, Bumper, I, um, I, I... Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't take your last dollar, you know. <laughs> Well, take care of yourself, boy. Don't don't take no wooden nickel. And uh, and if things don't work out, well. The, Maybe we we we'll, we'll meet we'll meet up again someplace along the line. My dog? Boy, this car is gonna be surprised when he sees us. you make to me the night that the little lamb almost drowned? 
You never run away again when Carlos gives you some job to do. I know. But I met this guy coming out of the doctor's office. And he asked me to come along with him. I make big point. You can look after sheep. When I go for a checkup, no need for Mrs. Williams to come. No, Bumper. Bumper can do it. Bumper is good boy. If you'll just give me a chance. I go for a checkup today. And where are you? You run away. Again. Mrs. Williams have to come out. Look out for sheep. What good is you promise, eh? You don't know how to keep it. I don't have my head examined, and we're coming back here at all! You try to set a record, eh? This time you are here two minutes and you want to run away. Well, you know, I don't need this darn job. There's plenty of other things I can do. I am going to tell you something, boy. And you are going to listen. Maybe you're sorry you come back already. Maybe you'll be plenty more sorry before you finish. But until the sheep are moved to high pasture, you are not going to run away again. But if you just listen to me, no sheep is going to die because Bumper is not here to help. Even before daylight, I am going to leave with the main flock. You are going to remain here and wait for Mrs. Williams to show up. Then you will drive the ewes and the little lambs, just like we talked before. If you know what is good for you, you will not let old Carlos down this time. You want to know something, Lucky? You're one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to come back here. How would you like it if you're going to belong to me someday? Huh? <laughs> Lucky? This year's due. You know, maybe someday if I'm a big sheep man, you can look back and you'll know you're my first lamb. <laughs> oh, Duke, stop it. Come on, stop that growling. <laughs> this is Williams. Duke, don't growl anymore. Stop barking. That's all I need is to have you fight her. Duke! Duke! Come on, Duke, get back here! Duke! What are you doing over there, huh? Come on, Duke. You're asking for... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
are you doing out here? Uh, I came back last night. I'm gonna help Carl take the sheep up. You could, you could have got yourself killed, don't you realize that? Just one swipe of his paw, that's all, that's all it'd take. Well, it ain't like I'm the one that invited him here. Mrs. William, are you all right? <laughs> Couldn't you get into the wagon and bolt the door? Yeah. I got the bear. He might get some of the sheep. And I thought to myself, I wonder what Ben would have done. I think he'd stay in the wagon and be scared. He'd probably come out and do the best he could. Bumper. Maybe... Maybe there's been too much said about... what Ben would have done. What Ben used to do. From now on... I'm glad you came back. Hi! You got that bear. Boy, I'll bet he be some sheepdog once he gets the hang of it. Followed by News Brief.